silence and probably stalking a uh, page of swords somebody was watching observing you from afar not communicating but keeping tabs and uh, making sure you know uh, and again can be a Taurus Virgo and Capricorn can also be um, kind of the universe telling you you know what they still want to be nurturing and kind and sweet um, King of Pentacles very practical um, and the Hierophant in reverse, you know, despite the separation, despite the divorce, despite the lack of commitment at this time. And um, and for some of you, this is kind of an unconventional type of connection, right? Um, two completely different people. And now we have the um, Queen of Pentacles and uh, the Death Scorpio energy, but I kind of feel it's an ending. That was an ending followed by a lot of... Um, Stocking, tab keeping, right? Knight of Cups in reverse, here you are. Definitely a separation between the two of you. Definitely this is about a connection you have with somebody you walked away from or they did. Emotional disconnection and toxicity. The devil can be a Capricorn. We saw the Queen of Pentacles can absolutely be a Capricorn at a distance. Um, so let's see before we jump to conclusions but it's good it's not that we had all the signs in the in the universe right only Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn so overall energy um cancer we do have the the palace of coins this is the world of stability that is not that stable at this time ten of wands and the magician so we are manifesting something new and it is a, <laughs> I feel like saying it does look like the end of the world, but it's not, right? Um, palace of, of coins in this deck, but it's actually pentacles. It's all about home and stability. It's all about marriage, um, you know, an environment where we felt safe and we felt abundant and having everything that it takes, you know, to be at ease. Um, but then it became a burden, right? And it became not so stable. And now we are in magician mode. And the magician mode is all about self-esteem it's all about self-confidence it's all about having the tools manifesting a new uh world a change and this is kind of the energy of being the artisan of your own life right the magician of your own life um it has the energy of a new chapter with new tools a new mind frame um of some sort and it's like a radical type of change right so I do love this. So we took a risk, right? It comes right after the full, which is uh, zero, right? We took a chance, we took a risk, and now we are really in magician mode. We are really in creation mode um, too, so. So let's see, past energies, cancer on your side, the person you are dealing with, and um, the energy of the connection, the energy between the two of you, however you relate with it, uh, to it. Now, uh, current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome for you and the person you are dealing with, and then mutual or the outcome for this connection. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor in reverse. This is a little bit of manipulation and the Magician again. And the Fool, we were talking about the Fool. I simply love this. You know what? Because it is such a beautiful journey, right? We do have the fall, twice the magician and the emperor in reverse. Can be an Aries you leave behind, can be a very manipulative situation that you leave behind. Somebody somehow abuse, right? Trust and um, and, and their position and their uh, influence in your life. But guess what? The fall and the magician twice. I mean, this is magician mode. It's a confirmation. Um, so let's see, let's see in the past, in the recent past, and we do have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Wands in reverse, and, um, you know, um, it's kind of that, intuitively it comes with, we love them, but we had to let them go, right? Nine of Wands is, is the energy of perseverance, is the energy of wounded warrior, still fighting, still believing in it. Um, it's the energy of I'm going. I'm going to get uh, back um, in shape, and I'm. But I'll, you know, pursue this because that is love. We do have the six of cups. You know, being aware that that is a bond that is very strong with this person, and 
it has the energy of history in it, right? We have every time I see Six of Cups, is we have history. We've, we've been together, like you know, this is the energy of being together, like since high school and stuff, you know. Um, it's the energy of a long journey together, but then uh, Nine of Wands happened, right? We got hurt in the process, and and we had no ch no chance and no choice but to let them go. Uh, for healing purposes, we know Nine of Wands again. It's the wounded warrior, and um, and um, almost being burdened by um, the sense of responsibility, right? The sense of what it took. Uh, for you to stay together with this person. It has the energy with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands. It has the energy of the ultimate effort and sacrifice, um, right? To make sure that it works and it came from the heart also. It, um, right? it, it came from uh, true love and genuine, honest uh, love. Now, this person of yours, they were at the beginning of a journey uh, in the recent past. We have them with the Two of Wands at Crossroads. can be your decision that put them there. Um, it can be their destiny and their path at some point. They found themselves in, um, you know, in need to take, um, to take a different path or in need to make a choice. And we do have the Ace of Wands in reverse. You know, it's the, it's the energy of... They were kind of post postponing a new beginning, a new endeavor, can be a job, can be um, a passion, can be, um, you know, something, or simply their life taking a turn, a, a more active kind of turn. And somebody was pushing away, um, you know, a new beginning, a new chapter for themselves, an opportunity of some sort, but then, you know, the universe showed them the crossroads and saying, now it's the time to decide, and I kind of feel that this is what happened. And can be, can be also because um, you made a choice to let them go, you know. It has this energy of disconnection and, and separation. It has an energy of a new beginning was well overdue in some way, but somebody was, um, you know, resisting some form of change. Um, but then, hey, Queen of Swords, I know, Queen of Swords and Five of Swords, we got into argument, right? We got into arguments, disagreements. This is also the energy of I no longer see <clears throat> life your way or I uh, no longer see our connection your way. And uh, Queen of Swords, of course, can be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius who got between the two of you and, uh, you know, we got into arguments because of it. It's also, again, the energy of becoming cold because of conflict and um, because of really not being on the same page. It's interesting, you both have ones, right? And we know, um, you know, the passion was there. And again, we can have conflict out of passion. And we can be passionate people um, and, and have all kinds of um, discussions that turn into. Um, can be that too. But if you notice, the ones are in reverse. So somehow the flame um, or, you know, um, kind of what uh, the engine of, of this connection was no longer there. And then the mind took over. Right with the swords, and then we started to look into details and and um, you know kind of nitpicking a bit. So, Cancer, where are we right now? We do have the chariot upright, and I so love it because this is your energy, and this is you being yourself, and this is you taking control, and this is you manifesting a new beginning and something that um, you know that's all yours. When I see top of the magician, is like. I have so many plans, right? The magician is like, I feel confident I'm going to accomplish everything that crosses my mind. Um, you know, and it's um, it's a good vibe. It's an amazing, actually, vibe. And we do have the Hierophant in reverse. So probably we are disconnecting, falling out of this partnership, slowly stepping back from it. Um, it has the energy of, I no longer believe in this like I once was. Um, and... Um, and it's um, right stepping away from stepping simply stepping away and and not having the same sense of responsibility because the overall energy it is the ten of wands right we feel responsible for what happened we worked a lot and now it's like now what um, but I'm it has a sense of fading away it has a sense of a sense of fading away and it has a sense of you coming uh, home to you and. Um, to this beautiful new beginning that it's um, coming your way. It's right around the corner. I mean, the fool and the magician twice, it's two steps away from you right now. 
and I'm pretty sure you feel it because that's how we have the hierophant in reverse right with yeah we had something it was solid felt like a marriage some of you it was a marriage but I feel that it um, we are in another place right now right uh, emotionally or in terms of relationships now this person of yours um, three of Pentacles and the eight of wands they still believe in this partnership cancer three of Pentacles is I want to work with my cancer um, I want to have communication eight of wands is actually uh, by excellence the energetic changes of playfulness of um, you know uh, playfully exchanges it has the energy of action it has the energy of action so somebody still believes in this um, they not somebody your person uh, they still believe it is possible so it's kind of like the more you stop believing in this and you step back the more they want to rush in eight of wands is quite a rushy energy out of passion out of belief out of desire to communicate and what they want to communicate is the three of pentacles we still can have a partnership in this um mutual energies between the two of you well nobody's happy with the separation we do have the five of pentacles in reverse and the five of and the ten of cups um i mean i mean life is sad without you that's exactly the energy and for you life is very sad right if ten of cups upright is all about blissful life it's all about enjoying um family and community and kids and happiness it's um you know everything is dark since you guys separated and they want to change this and you want to change this both of you you want actually for this separation to be over um but again right we have a disconnecting i don't know if it's a it's kind of a not believing in it and probably the silence makes you at this point in this energy of i don't believe in it but i would love to i'm sad because we are separated i would love for things to come back to life again and and that's um that's you but look at the energy coming your way rejection becomes love are you kidding me two of cups upright and the ace of cups in reverse rejection becomes true love here and that's how we have magic love right we do have twice the magician so it's magical for both of you and i simply love this whoever said no thank you or maybe it's time to go actually gets the two of cups and we have the six of cups in the past which is the soulmate love the true love right and uh and we get it again with the two of cups so much love in this and i feel cancer this is your love for them um six of cups in the past right your love for them um you being yourself and being true and honest to yourself um and the outcome of it rejection becomes true love now this person of yours again rejection becomes reconciliation for them three of cups happiness and the ace of cups uh, ace of sorry of pentacles in reverse yes there was a missed opportunity yes there was a new beginning but that the outcome for them is actually reconciliation what they want is that three of cups happiness and reconciliation and mutual energies between the two of you <laughs> contemplation becomes a decision wow we do have the page of um uh, the page of swords in reverse and the two of swords thinking and contemplating and a little bit of talking but also becomes communication whatever com whatever contemplation we had whatever we were not ready to say now it's in the works to be said wow rejection becomes reconciliation is such a strong message and so much love a leap of faith now that we have all the energies uh, on the table and it's interesting because we have you in disbelief um at this time with the hierophant in reverse we have you like oh i'm not sure this is good for me and we have them kind of you know at crossroads but strongly believing that a partnership and a reconciliation is possible and love coming your way i love this but let's see the universe is the universe saying yay or nay that's oh okay <laughs> are you kidding me we have well we have energies of reconciliation and now we have very soon completely like you know um took off from the deck so cancer clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so that is a very soon situation here so let's see what is what is that soon? <laughs> what is that soon? 
We have playfulness. Very soon and playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Aww. Very soon, playfulness. You deserve love. Cancer, you are lovable. You are lovable. You can be playful. Somehow religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And we have deception. Right? Bottom of the deck. Someone is wearing a self, uh, a false self mask in this relationship. Well, I don't feel you are guided towards this person. It's more the universe saying somehow religion has something to do or religious factors. You deserve love. You deserve playfulness very soon. That is, that was deception in this. So what do you think, Cancer? What do you think? Do you think that this one is new love coming your way because the universe is saying no? That was deception. You better remember and you better stay playful because soon someone is coming your way. We do have reparenting yourself and this is the whole energy of nurturing your inner child. Um, you know, learning concepts that you um, kind of in the past, you kind of ignored. This is being the parent you never had. Um, and it is self self-care by excellence we do have resolving conflict so we know we had conflict with this person in the past and we have deception here so you are really guided to find a solution it's um, in your hands you are the magician you have the power to do so we do have divine feminine so somebody here is all about acting from a place of higher self from a place of spirituality forgiveness Unconditional love, and this does, doesn't mean taking them back. It means just uh, wishing them the best, right? And we have self-respect. I kind of feel with the magician, I felt that was an issue. And the emperor is, uh, is again, in, in reverse, is an energy we don't want to play with because we know it's manipulation and abusive power. And, and, um, and maybe with this person we had somehow, through conflict, we had that level of deception and manipulation. And now... You know, it's all about self-respect, reparenting yourself, resolving conflict, uh, coming from a place of spirituality, and um, and I'm going to say divinity, but it's divine feminine, right? And bottom of the deck, we have slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. So, Cancer, I don't feel, I know that is a lot of love coming your way, that they want this reconciliation and this partnership. It's a lot of magic. And, um, and again, can be the universe saying, how about your self-esteem? How about things you can move and shake? How about things you can accomplish, right? Um, and the fool, you know, it's a strong message. The fool and twice the magician, it's a reminder. You take that leap of faith. You have that new beginning because you also have what it takes, you know. But then in the whole reading, that is so much love, right? But that is... Um, also, the guidance is all about letting them go, solving the conflict, move back to self-respect and, um, and um, you know, and love. Um, so the energies we need to put back into the flow or surrender, we do have worry. So we know we need to um, actually surrender this. So I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Well, now we know. Cancer, surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. We do have abundance. So surrender to complete healing and don't worry about abundance, right? Because you are a limitless being and you can manifest whatever you desire in this physical reality. And it's, um, it's how we activate abundance, right? By saying all through the day, under your breath, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. We let go of guilt. You might feel responsible for and Ten of Wands and Nine of Wands. Absolutely, we have a sense of guilt. The whole reading has like a sense of maybe I should have done things differently. So Cancer, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. And bottom of the deck, we do have harmony. 
you are able to feel a loving balanced connection with everything and we have harmony and we have past so it's like um right you know where i'm going right we need to make peace with the past and it's simple right you deserve um you deserve love and you deserve um you know a more easy breezy type of energy so past through the power of love you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space and look here we have empathy so this is the approach towards them you feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love so somebody here is really guided to solve this conflict to solve this problem to move to complete um healing and abundance with empathy and making peace with the past and starting new this overall energy the fall and twice the magician i mean that is magic in new beginnings um, so let's look into some general guidance. Um, sometimes it has not, nothing to do with love. Some mainly it can be about career and things you need to change. Guess what? Giving and receiving. The entire year, and I know it's holiday time soon, so it's all about uh, right um, paying forward. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to inhalation and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. Is it? Wow, never saw it coming. It's a matter of balance, right? Giving and receiving, it's just, it's just breathe, breathing in and breathing out. Oh, never saw it that way. Giving is like breathing. Receiving is like breathing. We do have school. The answer that you're seeking involves going to school, Cancer. So somebody needs to go to school. Oh, it's about kids going to school. <laughs> Are you in a conflict with um, your ex-partner because of kids and school? Because now I have children. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. You might... I might be picking up the energy of a professor here or a teacher or um you know so giving and receiving kids and school i hope it makes sense for some of you right because this is all about being generous and balancing um children and maybe for some of you or kids having kids and a profession of some sort working with kids for some of you it's important what you already do so hey cancer this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.